Hey, Noah, what are you doing? I'm studying poetry. Whoa, I don't know anything about poetry. You don't? There's a whole world of poetry out there. Wow, it's poetry time. Will you care to join me? Yup. Let's go! <laughs> in my country, but I am one who knows poetry like the sounds of the sea flowing through me, man. I can help you with poetry, man. He's perfect. Dr. Poetry, what exactly is a rhyme? A rhyme is the most important thing you got to know about poetry, man. A rhyme is the matching of final vowels or consonants in two or more words. Like, for example, Dr. Seuss, my man. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. The two and the blue rhyme. See that? It creates an echo effect. It adds to oh. the structure and rhythm of the poem. Oh, that makes sense. There are different types of rhymes, man. Mm. For example, end rhyme is when the rhyme occurs at the end of each line in two lines. There is also internal rhyme. In this type of rhyme, the rhyme occurs in the same line in the middle of it. For example, let's see. That would be like if I said the line, I am the daughter of earth and water. Daughter and water rhyme, but it's on ah. the same line, see? Ah. Then there's feminine rhyme, where two words with more than one syllable rhyme together. Like you might say, trimming and brimming. And in masculine rhyme, the words that rhyme is only one syllable long, like jock and brock. Ah. And those are in the end of the line? Yeah, they can, they're all in the end of the lines, oh. feminine and masculine. And then finally, there is slant, near, imperfect rhyme. These type of rhymes don't exactly rhyme, but they're close enough, so it kind of mm. makes sense, you know? Oh. For example, you could say um, slow, la, dizzy, easy. doesn't really rhyme, but kind of sounds similar. So. Oh, kind of like Nicki yeah. Minaj's new song. Super bass! Yeah, super bass. Yeah, yeah. So, any other things you want to know? Uh, Are there any other important words that you'd like to show us? Well, let me explain to you. In poetry, each paragraph is called a stanza. Does that make sense? Ah, kind of like a, like an idea. Yes, it expresses an idea. Yeah. There's also something called turning points in poetry. There might be a turning point when the author wants to change mood or point of view to change the focus and idea of the poem in the middle of it. Ah. There's also a type of poem called terza rima. In this poem, the format goes A, B, A, B, C, B, C, D, C, D, E, D, and so on. Oh. So it creates a three-line stanza that rhymes. It was invented some, by some Italian guy named Dante. Oh. Also, there is something called a synecdote, and that is a figure of speech, which means it's not for real, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's like when you say one thing to represent something else. Like if I said, give me some bread, man, I might be referring just to food in general. Oh. Understand? Oh. Yeah. Kind of like, you give me your hand kind of thing, like, you, you want help kind of, like, it represents help? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Ah, oh, yes. okay. It's not literal. Well, I think you guys now have a foundation to go on your way and learn poetry. <sighs> yeah. I think so. I think we should start practicing now. Poetry is great! It's something to appreciate! Don't be too late! Or the F will be your face! <laughs> 